Here's the Moto G Power 2022 model. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Okay, so first thing, have you turn on your phone. You want to go ahead and choose your language. I'm good with the United States, English in the U.S. here. I'm going to tap on Start. Connect to your mobile network. So they're asking you to go ahead and insert your SIM card now. You can do it now or you can do it after the setup. Okay, so for myself, I'm going to do it after the setup. So I'll have another video in the link below if you want to know how to insert the SIM card after the setup. Okay, so but from here for now, I'm going to go ahead and skip for myself. Going to go ahead and connect to my home Wi-Fi network. You can always skip that and connect to it later, but I'm going to do mine now so I can get that latest update as well. Put in my Wi-Fi password here. After you put in the password, tap on connect right there. Obtaining IP and address and it said connect it. Privacy and software updates. These all are optional. Okay, go ahead and read through those for me. I'm fine with all of them toggled on. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on accept and continue. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. So you can go ahead and use a different device. If you go ahead and tap on next here, it says use your old device. You need your old Android or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked and keep it closed and tap on next as if you want to transfer um, from like a old tablet or um, another iPhone or whatnot okay but for me I'm gonna click on back here so for myself I don't want to copy anything or transfer anything over I want a clean slate here so for myself I'm gonna click on don't copy Now they're asking you to sign in with your Google account, basically your Gmail email address. So go ahead and input that or you can create one. But for me, I'm going to skip this now. I'm just going to go ahead and do this later. So for now, I'll skip my Gmail. Google services, these are all optional as well. So you can read through those. For myself, I'm fine with having all of these checked or uh, toggled on. I'm going to toggle and accept for myself. Set a lock screen, pin, basically a pin password. So I'm going to go ahead and make a pin right now. You can skip this, but I would recommend go ahead and do this now. Put in your four digits and then tap on next and then re-enter it again. After you re-enter it, let's tap on confirm. Unlock with your fingerprint. So here's the fingerprint password, okay? You can always skip this or you can skip it and do it later or you can do it now, okay? For myself, I'm going to go ahead and set this up right now. So I'm going to tap on setup right there. Now take note that the sensor is right there, okay? So what I'm going to do is put my finger on there, just like that, and now I'm going to lift up and down. And just wait till this whole thing goes and you can see what I'm doing here. Vibrates up. Just keep on going. Let's see. Still going. Okay, there we go. So I got a fingerprint in there now. Now I can go ahead and add another one if you want like another finger or you can click on done and you can always go back in there later on if you want to make a, another finger as well. Okay, so from here, uh, review additional apps, we're going to tap on OK. Let's stay in touch. You can go ahead and put your email address in and all if you want to stay in touch. For myself, I don't want to stay in touch or any of this, so I'm going to toggle both of these off and then I'm going to proceed by clicking next for myself. You're all set, okay? So let's go ahead and tap on done. And voila, guys, we are in business here. So if you want to know how to insert the SIM card now, go ahead and look in the um, description below. I'll have a link for that, okay?